Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video blog. Now, without question, the highlight of this week was finding this beautiful female rainbow boa. Now, considering we're lucky enough to have this beautiful girl here for the, the video blog, this seems like a really good time to profile our herpetological research team. Herpetology is the study of reptiles and amphibians, and because of the incredibly varied life history of these animals, researching and monitoring them takes on a variety of forms as well. Terrestrial monitoring and research includes line transects, quadrats, pitfalls, and opportunistic surveys. These surveys often mean long nights in the jungle, braving both the darkness and the insects, but our team is always rewarded with amazing views of animals. The Madre de Dios region is home to a stunning diversity of frogs and toads. This region is home to over 120 species of amphibians, ranging from large nocturnal tree frogs to tiny diurnal frogs weighing less than one gram. In fact, it's not uncommon to encounter more than 10 species of frogs in a single night of research. Of course, for many people, finding snakes is the real draw of being on the herpetological research team. Although it's not as easy to find snakes as many people would believe, when we do stumble upon one, it makes all the hard work worth it. Now, of course, searching for these animals is not just for fun. When we do capture one, morphological measurements are taken of the individuals, along with careful records of the habitat and conditions during the time of their catch. Our survey methods also allow us to evaluate relative abundance, along with generating density models. This information is then used to evaluate long-term changes among reptile and amphibian populations in the Madre de Dios region. Yeah! Whoa! Thanks! Now, of course, when it comes to monitoring and researching caimans, things get a little more wet. Our research teams visit local lakes and streams, along with large rivers such as the Tampapata River. These surveys not only involve counting individuals, but also recording their location with GPS. When we're lucky enough to catch individuals, we take careful morphological measurements to determine age and sex. And we also insert a microchip, which allows us to determine if an individual has been captured in the past, thereby allowing us to gain even more information from future captures. Collecting this data allows us to evaluate the impact of human activities, such as gold mining and ecotourism, on the population in this region. Herpetological interns are given the chance to learn about and participate in a wide variety of research methodologies. Interning and volunteering with Fauna Forever also gives them the chance to interact with these amazing animals, creating memories that will last a lifetime. Well, that's it for this week's video blog. Now, don't forget to check out our website at www.faunaforever.org where you can find more information about all of our research teams, including, of course, our herpetological research team. And if you want more information about the organization, you can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. See you next week.